What's up guys? Welcome back to The Social Cut. I'm Steve. Thanks for watching fellas. And as you can tell, we're back here at the shop, The Social Cut. And I'm gonna be telling you guys today how to spot a bad barber, how to tell if you have a barber, how to tell if your barber is a real barber. Uh, I get a lot of guys, a lot of new customers, they come in here and uh, you know, they're always looking for a new barber. Or they just moved to town, or they're unhappy with the current barber. So that got me thinking, you know what? I need to help you guys out how to find a real barber, a good barber, and that is, you just come here. Give me a call, book online, and you guys are set. <laughs> nah, but for real, guys. All right, man, so I'm gonna tell you guys how to find a real barber, how to tell your barber is a good barber, and if you're looking for a new barber, how to spat, spot a bad barber. All right, let's do this. All right, fellas. The first thing, first things first, and this is the most overlooked thing that uh, clients, customers, they don't, they don't pay attention to when they're looking for a new barber or to check their current barber, if they're a real barber, is, check it out guys, let me cover this. If they have one of these bad boys right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is called a barber license that's right a barber's license so a lot of guys uh don't know this but you need a license to cut hair a barber license or a cosmetology uh license and so many guys out there so many barbers don't have there's plenty of jokes out there about that but there's so many barber shops that hire unlicensed barbers um, you know, a lot of the smaller shops uh, have a lot of unlicensed barbers, and this is so important, guys. And let me tell you why. I'm, you, if you talk to a lot of barbers, they're gonna say that don't have a license. You don't need a license. I know how to cut hair. I get down. I don't need to just go to school to learn how to cut, do fades. Uh, you know, I'm the best barber. So on and so on, right? But you know what, man? What people don't understand is that going to school to learn how to cut hair, it's a trait, it's a skill, and when you go to school, they teach you more than just cutting hair uh, or doing fades. And that's how you spot a bad barber, because guess what? When you go there, they teach you how to make sure you clean your tools. I remember when I went to school, you know, I thought I was doing a lot of things right, or there's things that you can touch upon your skills, and it was like, hey, you know what? How to pro properly clean your tools, how to uh, spot infections, uh, we're dealing with the public, we're touching people's hairs. You gotta think about it, man. These guys, we're touching everybody's hair and you don't wanna pass something on to, to, another per, to another client, right? So you have to learn how to clean your tools. Next, sanitary. How clean is your barber? How clean is the shop? First thing, as soon as you walk into the shop, if the floor is dirty, if things are dirty, if the barber's tools are dirty, you see hair everywhere, that's a bad sign. You know they're not cleaning their tools right. You walk in, there's a mess on the floor, and, and, and I've seen this several times where, you know, at other shops when I pass by, you, you walk in or customers have told me, hey, they don't sweep up, something that's about sweeping up the hair before another client sits on your chair, right? Things like that, it's a mess, guys. So if you walk into a barber shop, you see it's messy, you know a lot of things are gonna go wrong because that's a, that's a simple as just sweeping up the floors is something uh, easy to, uh, to be sanitary. A couple of other things, guys. Let me show you this over here real quick. All right, see this? We gotta have some cleaning things. We have like cool care here. This helps you clean your tools. We have barber side. If you see the barber side, you guys, a lot of guys always ask me, what's that blue stuff over there? That's to clean your, that stuff right there is to clean your tools. Uh, let's see, hand sanitizer, guys. You know what, I always use hand sanitizer after every client. It's just simple things, you know, I always go in the back, wash my hands, but just simple things that common sense things where you walk in, if it looks messy, you can imagine already what other things are, are not gonna be so clean. All right guys, so those first two things were something for you guys to consider before the barber even touches your hair, before he starts cutting your hair, right? So now we're gonna move on to number three and that is the consultation. This is one of my favorite guys because you sit in the barber's chair, and I've heard this so many times. The guy sits there, and they say, man, this guy, he messed up my hair, he did all this, I didn't ask him to do this, and he gave me this line, I didn't want it, and that's as something simple just by a good consultation. So if you sit down and you tell the barber, yeah, can I get a one fade and a little bit off the top? If that barber, that's all you said, the barber puts that clip on and starts cutting your hair, bro, you run, 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 because guess what? Nine out of 10, 10 out of 10, that hair is not gonna come up how you want. You know why? And I get this all the time, man, I asked him to do this and he didn't do what I wanted to do. Because those 
details or those instructions you just gave him, they're so vague. There's so many details that the barber needs to consider. And that's how you know if he's a good barber, a bad barber, because a good barber will say, wait, wait, okay, cool. You want uh, number one with a little bit off the top. What is a little bit? A little bit can be an inch, a little bit can be half an inch, a, li a little bit can be can mean so many things, right? So you wanna ask, so the barber should be asking you, all right, if you say a little bit off the top, all right, man, do you want like, what's a little bit? Do you want a half an inch, an inch, two inches? So a good consultation. Number four, fellas, appearance. It is what it is, guys. We're in the business of appearance. Looking good, we wanna make you guys look good. So if your barber doesn't look good, now, how do you think he's gonna make you look good if he can't look good himself, right? See, look at this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, check out my new jacket. I don't know if you guys seen the back already. Got the new merch coming out soon, all right? Anyways, uh, it's our appearance, man. So look at your guy, man. If he doesn't take care of himself, he doesn't look good, uh, odds are he's not gonna be able to make you look good. And uh, I, I, I say that because he should be on top of the latest trends. He should know what's going on. So if you ask him, hey man, you know, can I get this uh, crop cut or whatever hair, hairstyle is in, right? If he doesn't know what a crop cut is, if he doesn't know, you know, what a high and tight is, or questions like this, or he or she, right? Then you just get out there, man, because they don't know what they're doing. They should be doing their research. I'm always on top of my game. I love the fashion game. I love grooming. So I'm always doing research. I'm always looking up new hairstyles. And the last thing on how to spot a bad barber or if you're looking for a new barber is attitude. The guy has to have a good attitude. I don't know what it is with barbers, guys, but they have this ego. They, they, feel, they feel it's a pleasure for you guys to get cut by the barber. Man, it doesn't work like that. My guys will tell you, man, I appreciate every single person that comes in here. Man, I wanna make sure you guys are happy. I wanna make sure you guys look good. Whatever you guys need me to do to your hair, you want me to touch it up, no problem. I, I've, I've gotten this uh, comment before where I get new clients and they feel uncomfortable with their barber. The barber gives them attitude. Let's say you ask for uh, to cut half an inch on the top, right? The haircut's done and you look at your hair and you ask the barber, hey, you know what, it's still a little long. Can you cut maybe another inch off? And the barber gives you attitude. Oh, whoa, you said half an inch. Come on, man. No problem, man. You coming to me, bro, I'm gonna tell you. No problem, man, another inch, half an inch, no problem. We can always go shorter, never longer, let's do it. So you should feel comfortable. This is a personal business. You build this relationship with your barber, so you should feel comfortable telling him anything. You should be telling him, hey, you know, can you go a little bit shorter, you know, where the cyber's a little higher. Whatever the case is, that guy should be making you comfortable. And there you have it, guys. Hopefully, these tips help you out on how to spot a bad barber, how to find a new barber, and as always, guys, man, you guys know where to find me here at The Social Cut. You guys want to give me a shot, check me out. Come out here, downtown Pomona. You guys know where to find me. And of course, show some love for love if you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up. Uh, make sure you guys check me out on social media at The Social Cut. And as always, guys, subscribe to my channel. And that's it for now, guys. We'll see you next time.